How to access an SD card from a virtual machine? I want to format an SD card from my Linux virtual machine. I have a built-in SD card reader in my laptop. I tried using VirtualBox and VMware Player and installed Ubuntu 10.04 Guest. None of them are showing the SD card reader as a device. I can access the SD card from the Windows host. I am not interested in solutions using shared folders as I want to access the SD card as hardware, it should show up in slash dev. I basically want to set up the SD card for BeagleBoard, but I don't want to install a physical Ubuntu on my PC. On newer MacBook Pros the SD card slot is no longer exposed as a USB device. Because of this you'll need to attach the raw device to the VM in order to gain raw access to the whole card. Full documentation is in the Advanced Storage Configuration section of the VirtualBox documentation. As clearly stated in the docs. Warning, raw hard disk access is for expert users only. Incorrect use or use of an outdated configuration can lead to total loss of data on the physical disk. Most importantly, do not attempt to boot the partition with the currently running host operating system in a guest. This will lead to severe data corruption. As a quick guide these are the steps to attach the device to a Linux VM. Identify the raw disk block device on your host system. Insert the SD card into the slot. Open a terminal and type mount. You'll see output identifying the mounted volume from your SD card. On my system I get the following. In my case the no name volume is the SD card, so I take note of the slash def slash disk 2 S1 part. In this particular case the S1 part represents a partition, slice, on the raw device, so the part we'll use later is just the slash dev slash disk 2 part. Open Disk Utility and unmount the volume. Do not eject it. Note that you may need to unmount the volume once in a while during the next steps as I found OS X would automatically remount it at random. Now we set up VirtualBox to be aware of the raw device with the following command in the terminal. Note that the slash path slash to slash file dot vmdk can be put anywhere, though it's a good idea to store this in the guest VM folder such as tilde slash virtualbox vms slash guest vm slash scar.vmdk. Note that the raw disk we use doesn't reference the partition, slice, but only the block device as a whole. Next we attach the raw disk to a guest VM within the VirtualBox UI. Ensure the guest VM is not running. Open the settings area for the guest VM. Click on storage in the toolbar. Next to the controller click on the icon to add hard disk. Select choose existing disk. Navigate to the slash path slash to slash file dot VMDK you used in step 3 and select it. You should now be returned to the storage tab and see your file.vmdk in the list. Start the VM. Depending on whether you have a GUI or not the SD card may or may not automatically mount. If you need to mount as manually it is simply exposed as another standard block device, so on my guess this was exposed as slash dev slash sdb. Update. It seems some people may have trouble with accessing the raw device in step 3.2 or 4.6.
Attempts to run some of the commands with sudo won't help as VirtualBox will be running as your logged in user and still won't be able to access the raw device correct or the generated VMDK file. The following steps should help, though I haven't tested them. Check the account you're using on OSX has admin privileges in the system preferences slash users section. There's a good chance it should also be the primary account on the system for raw device access to work. Check the raw disk permissions. These permissions must match your current logged in user account. The permissions on the device should also permit your usual user account to both read, R, and write, W, to this device. Do not change permissions on the device unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Update number 2 Turns out OSX Mountain Lion created the device with root operator privileges and 0640 permissions. Unfortunately for now the only way to gain access to this device is to sudo chown dollar user it to your current user each time you insert the device, however this is not recommended unless you really understand what you're doing. Hopefully either Apple or VirtualBox will find a more suitable solution. Answer for Windows Users Get the device out of your SD card reader. You'll need a card in the drive, mounted by Windows. Enter this command. It should look something like this. The last device is the SD card reader. So the device it is, backslash dot backslash physical drive 1. Create the link file to the SD card. Open a command windows as administrator. This assumes the default installation path, change it if you need to. Ensure quotes are around the raw disk argument. The VMDK file is a link to the SD card, you can put it anywhere on your host system, but this command just puts it on your desktop for convenience. Follow steps 4 to 6 in Jinko's answer, the only minor tweak is that you need to start VirtualBox as an administrator. Next we attach the raw disk to a guest VM within the VirtualBox UI. Ensure the guest VM is powered off. Ensure VirtualBox is not running. Start VirtualBox by right clicking on it and choosing run as administrator. Open the settings area for the guest VM. Click on storage in the toolbar. Next to the controller click on the icon to add hard disk. Select choose existing disk. Navigate to the slash path slash to slash file dot vmdk you used in step 3 and select it. You should now be returned to the storage tab and see your file dot vmdk in the list. Start the VM. Depending on whether you have a GUI or not the SD card may or may not automatically mount. If you need to mount as manually it is simply exposed as another standard block device, so I might guess this was exposed as slash dev slash sdb. On newer MacBook Pros the SD card slot is no longer exposed as a USB device. 
To overcome this problem you can simply use an external USB memory card reader, i.e. SD card to USB adapter, instead of built-in card reader. It will expose your SD card as a USB device so that you can mount it easily just like any USB device. They're cheap devices and would be an acceptable solution considering all the hassle in the other way. You are most likely missing the extensions if your SD reader is using your USB controller. Under File and GT, Preferences, follow the pick. Add and point to the downloaded extension. Restart your virtual machine and you should have access to USB devices. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.